After losing her virginity, Isabel takes up a secret life as a call girl, meeting her clients for hotel room trysts. Throughout, she remains curiously aloof, showing little interest in the encounters themselves or the money she makes. French teenager Isabel is spending her summer holiday with her middle-class family in the south of France and decides to lose her virginity with German teenager Felix. Then she returns to Paris with her mother Sylvie, her stepfather Patrick and her younger brother Victor. Then Isabel works as a call girl using the nickname Lee, meeting old men. She feels affection for her client Georges that is married with a daughter. When Georges dies from a heart attack while having sex with Isabel in a hotel, she flees but the police investigate and identify her. The detectives in charge of the investigation disclose to Sylvie, who is devastated. Claudio Carvalho, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. After losing her virginity, 17-year-old budding beauty Isabel Back takes up a secret life as a call girl, meeting her older gentleman clients for erotic hotel room trysts. Throughout, she remains curiously aloof, showing little interest in the encounters themselves or the money she makes, while Ozan slyly refrains from offering easy answers. While on a summer vacation with her parents in the south of France on the Mediterranean coast, 17-year-old Isabel Marine Back decides to lose her virginity to a cute German teenage tourist named Felix Lucas Preiser. The experience leaves her unsatisfied. By autumn, Isabel is working as a prostitute at high-class hotels under the name Lee. Among Isabel's clients is a 63-year-old man named Georges Johann Laysen whom she likes. He dies of a sudden heart attack while they are having sex with Isabel on top. Isabel tries to resuscitate him, then leaves. In winter, the police show up and inform her mother, Sylvie Geraldine Palehas, about Isabel being a prostitute and her involvement with George Depp. Sylvie flies into a rage and repeatedly slaps Isabel before apologizing and grounding her. Isabel is forced to give a statement to the police. She says she was first approached by a man on the street to have sex for money, but found it disgusting. After seeing a report about students making money as prostitutes she set up a website, bought a second cell phone and went into her own business. As a minor, Isabel is technically the victim and will not be charged, but her mother will keep the money that Isabel made. Sylvia takes Isabel to see a therapist, Serge Hefes, to help her deal with what happened, including her guilt because she thinks she killed George. After Isabel quits prostitution, she lives a normal teenage life and works as a babysitter. In the spring, she meets Alex Laurent Delbecq at a party and they start dating. They have sex with Isabel on top and she has to help him out. Afterwards, she breaks up with Alex saying she does not love him. Isabel reactivates her phone SIM card and checks messages for Lee from clients. George's widow Alice Charlotte Rampling found Lee's number in her husband's address book and requested an appointment at the hotel. When she arrives, Alice explains the situation and says she wants to see the room and meet the girl George was with when he died. She does not blame Isabel because she knew he saw other women, was ill with a heart condition and thinks dying while making love is a beautiful death. They go to the hotel room where George died and Alice tells Isabel to leave her clothes on and lie with her on the bed. Isabel says she needed to come here too. Alice kindly caresses Isabel's face, Isabel falls asleep. In the final shot, Isabel wakes up the next morning alone, looking more at peace. Like, share and subscribe.